FF server and FF MPEG. So we want to next slide. So this particular slide gives a depicts an example of how of how multimedia streaming takes place. So in this particular picture, there is a there's a NAS box, basically it's a storage device. One can store the multimedia content on a NAS server. They could be multiple clients, they could be like a cell phone or a tablet or maybe a laptop which, which is connected to this NAS device over internet, maybe over HTTP protocol and we can also have a firewall so as to have have an administration over the content as well as as well as the users. Let's say we want to restrict one particular user to only a particular kind of a content. So firewall does all the structure, does all this purpose. So a user can maintain different copies of same content using FFmpeg or maybe do an on-the-fly transcoding to save memory. And in order to maintain playback continuity, adaptive streaming can be done. So basically this gives an overall idea of how does a streaming ecosystem looks like. So moving on to next slide. So this is basically a this is basically an example of adaptive streaming solution architecture. It will give you a good idea how how adaptive streaming can be implemented. Adaptive streaming is is a concept basically. There are, there are many techniques by which adaptive streaming can be achieved. Apple has its own adaptive streaming solution. Microsoft also has its own adaptive streaming solution. The solution which I have mentioned over here is Impact Dash. It is again an open source solution. So this is so I've used this particular technique to give an overall picture of how adaptive streaming solution will look like. So in this particular diagram you have a platform, you have a system on chip. The system on chip supports multiple hardware codecs. It also for connectivity it has a wireless network stack. FFmpeg framework sits on top of this particular platform. FFmpeg it basically generates the content with different bit rates, different duration and the kind of format the user would would want the content to be. So FFmpeg does all this all this work. All the content which FFmpeg generates, it is then fed to FF server. FF server basically takes content in the form of FFM feeds. It's a it's a protocol for FFmpeg in which FFmpeg expects the content to be. It also maintains an indexing of all the content. So the indexing is dip, is done depending upon the format, depending upon the bit rate and the duration. So after doing all this, FFmpeg broadcasts its data. So there could be there could be multiple clients retrieving the data at like in parallel. So the MPEG dash client will be running on these devices which want to play this content. So based upon the available bandwidth, the dash clients require appropriate data from the FF server. So in case the bandwidth goes low, so the MPEG dash client 
would request a data of lower resolution. So there will be slight degradation in the quality in the in the viewing pleasure but the continuity will will maintain a user will not have to encounter those ugly errors with respect to buffering and all those so adaptive streaming solution takes care of all those requirements so moving on to next slide so although ffmpeg come with it has its own server FF server, but here I've mentioned most commonly used 